Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Free and Tool On. On this channel, we do tool testing, we do DIY, we do a bunch of projects, we love to build stuff, and today we are going to be focusing on tool testing. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the, the dual rapid charger from Ryobi for the 40 volt batteries and then the single 40 volt battery rapid charger. Now, let me this model number is OP406VNM. For the dual rapid charger, this is OP409VNM. Now, why are these so important and why am I doing the testing today? Well, there's a huge push in the industry to, is to go all electric, which is all cordless battery powered tools. And what's leading the industry are the 40 volt platform coming from Ryobi. The biggest drawback to this is the charge time for the batteries. Now, the most popular battery to use in the yard tools is the 6 amp hour because it packs a punch and it lasts a long time, which is super great, but they take a long time to charge. And that's the solution right here, at least that Ryobi has put out. Now, they claim that they can be charged in under an hour, which for a big battery like this is huge. Now, a 4 amp hour battery, they claim it's right around 30 minutes, but we're going to be doing our testing today on four 6 amp hour batteries. The model number for these are OP40605. These are all exactly the same. Now, I'm going to start with them all completely drained. I'm going to show you what that is. We're going to put them on the chargers and let's just do a time lapse on a security camera so you can see how long they last. Now, now I think it's really important for you all to know what the actual wattage is for the charge on these. This charges at 295 watts. Of course, in America, that's 120 volts at 60 hertz. This dual, now this is supposed to charge both batteries at the same time, and it's supposed to be as fast as this. This is 590 watts at 120 volts. This is uh, 590 watts at 60 hertz at 120 volts. So, they're very comparable. It literally looks like they split the power supply, and you get the same type of charging capacity, but... In advertisement, there's always reality, so we want to make sure that this is actually reality. So hang on, let's just go ahead and get into the test. All right, everybody, so what are your initial thoughts? I can tell you my initial thoughts are I'm very impressed with this particular charger because it actually did what it advertised to do. It charged at the same rate as one of these single chargers. Now, in the video, or at least in the testing I did, I put two of these chargers together um, so that way you can see side by side so we have consistency for the chargers, and then we had these two together. Now, it's kind of interesting that one of the chargers, they did charge, and I think it was a couple minutes faster um, than one of these. I consider that the same, but then this one, um, this rapid charger came in the exact same time, or at least within a minute of each other. So they both charge from zero to fully charged within five minutes of each other from dead to fully charged. So with that being said, I, there is no falsity in the advertising for this. It actually does what it's supposed to do. These still rock. Now the cool thing about it is I charged a dead six amp hour battery, at least two dead six amp hour batteries from dead to fully charged in an hour. It was literally just like an hour flat. Um, I, I don't know what, 59 minutes. Okay. So this right here did it in, I think 55 minutes, 57 minutes uh, from zero to fully charged. 
Now, you really cannot complain about that because the amount of power that you're getting out of this, it's huge. So to be able to charge them in just an hour gives you a break. Or if you have other batteries where you can cycle them, you're still going to be using one of these batteries um, out in the field or out landscaping while this is fully charged. So you can come back and grab these batteries. One thing that I will say when you put these batteries on charge, just make sure they're not warm. You need to make sure that they cool down, um, get down to room temperature or somewhere really close to that before you start to put them on a charger. You want them to be able to absorb the energy well and they do that at a cooler temperature, not when they're overheating. So with that being said, I hope that this test was useful. If you're looking at getting one of these double chargers, I can say that they are worth it. Now you're going to get these double chargers in your snowblower applications and in the rear time tiller applications. So you can look forward to that if you're planning on buying those tools. But I really appreciate you all tuning in. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like button. There is also a little bell down there that you can hit for notification. I really hope to see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.